quick overview of today. We've got a 400 amp transfer switch that is coming from our generator. What this does is in case of power loss, it is automatically going to take our feeds and feed these two 200 amp panels that are going to serve the entire home. So lots of cool stuff going on here. I won't get into too many of the technical details. We haven't cleaned up the panel yet. I'll, uh, I'll show you a video of what it looks like when we're just about finished. Next up, what I'm doing right here is landing all the control wires. So this is the brains of the unit. So basically, this is gonna be what tells the whole thing that it needs to switch over. Um, when doing this, we obviously need to make sure that we know what type, what type of terminals we're landing into. If we are putting crimp-ons on, so these little forks here, since we've just got a normal screw, we don't wanna just wrap our wrap our small little stranded copper through that because it's not gonna hold well over time. So we take the time to put crimp-ons on there to make sure it's a good quality install for our customer. Won't be any fires in this house. Ready, grip. Looks good. Real quick, a code violation that's very common in both transfer switches as well as panels is that if we've got these plastic covers, they do have to be installed. So that way there's no um, exposed energized parts in these panels at all. Very important. A lot of people miss that one. Some of you might have caught this when looking at this other video too. Here, this cable. This is our ground, this is going, coming from our water meter. This has to be identified, has to be identified. So we're gonna take some tape. I'm not gonna take it and wrap it around the entire thing, but just here so it is clearly obvious to our field experts when they come in next time that they know it's good. And also the inspector can look at that and see it is clearly marked to be a ground. Next up, now that we have a transfer switch here, this now counts as its main disconnect. So this is a sub panel. So what happens then is we have to separate all of the neutrals from grounds in the sub panel, make sure that any ties between them, as well as our bonding screw here in this lug is, uh, is all gone and clear for us. So everything is totally isolated and separated from each other. And then we bond this side to the frame, which is where we've got all of our grounds. So neutrals will not be, the grounds will be there. Last finishing touch as we come back as part of our maintenance program and uh, inspect these, what we're going to do is just leave a little mark across here that we, we know that they are still torqued and uh, nothing has happened to them. So if our experts come out and see that this is different than it was before, uh, then we've got to retorque them to make sure that uh, a qualified expert electrician has torqued these down like we have here today. And what tomorrow is going to entail is that We Energies comes out first thing in the morning. They shut off panels right here, so we have no power to the house. And then what we do is land in our ungrounded conductors from the transfer switch over onto those panels. All right, that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, if you've got any questions, comments, or concerns about your home's electrical equipment, feel free to give us a call. Otherwise, you know where to reach me at as well. We'd be happy to come and take a look at it and solve any problems that you guys have. Whether it's a big job or a small job, we got it all covered. I hope you all have a great night. And uh, signing out for the day, we'll see you in the next one.